Hi, this is Little Dwarf playing games while rambling incoherently into the microphone. Why? Well, just because I can. And I continue with Sanitarium Blind. Now, last episode I've, uh, I had a lot of trouble with getting through some of the puzzles. So let's continue and see how the game will progress from that. Ah, so... So maybe I can repeat the words, because then it would be like... No, maybe I don't need the D before the youth, and it would be like youth uh, hides the key to salvation. Youth hides the key Yeah, right. It should, it should be... To salvation. Youth hides the key to salvation. Okay, okay, it did, it did work out in the end. This must be confusing to you, even frightening. But this work is going to help so many people. Sick people. People with no hope. No! No! Calm down. You're going to hurt yourself. Those straps can hold a man twice your strength. No! Okay, that was another crazy transition. Uh, in general, even though I am a little frustrated uh, by the design of this game, uh, as in from the technical side, sometimes I am also continuously amazed by its visual and sort of ima imaginative uh, creativity, because um, there's a lot of crazy stuff happening, and I, I love it. Like. Uh, what 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 I saw there in the cutscene, I guess, was like a bunch of babies, uh, maybe being cloned or something. That at least that was it, that's what it looks like, or maybe just kept in some kind of containment. Uh, and there was there were also like flashes to different images, and I think I saw the mother um, during the cutscene briefly. Hey, which would uh, which would corroborate the theory that um, that uh, Dr. Morgan is experimenting with uh, with the like the children infected with mother uh, uh, like with her spores or whatever because he was talking about weeds and something else um, you know plant um, relating stuff uh, and also. Uh, he, his very password said that the youth hides the key to salvation, so he might th he seems to think that mm, experimenting on children in particular is going to yield the best results. Now this character, mm, from what I understand, is mm, a, like a comic book hero, because um, I've seen in the, in the cutscene him sort of coming to life off the page of the cover of the book, uh, and the, the comic Grimwall, I think? I'm not sure what's the beginning of the word, because it's a little bit difficult to, for me to read the font, but it definitely ends in wall, 
um, it's the comic that Max has been reading in uh, the cutscenes from his childhood. So it's very fascinating to me how, uh, you know, under duress, in times of stress, uh, even as an adult, he sort of withdraws to this memory or like a fantasy of his childhood and imagines himself as, as his childhood hero. Uh, but I'm not sure what's with all, all of the bugs. Uh, I guess I'm going to learn that soon enough. Is this all the body of a single beast? Well, I have no idea. This thing has some kind of mechanical harness. Wearing this harness, perhaps they'll think I'm one of them. It's worth a try. The only mm. good bug is a dead one. The only good... So, how do I equip it? Maybe it's automatically equipped, because I can't click uh, on anything in my inventory. This building appears to have served some special function. ID confirmed. Drone guard class, Sector 7. I have no idea what this location is supposed to represent, though. Drone guard class not permitted within the Queen's chamber. Entry denied. Grab. I, like, I uh, understood the reference with the circus and its relevance to uh, Max's childhood and his sister's death, but this I am totally at a loss. So I guess I'm supposed to find like a better um, disguise of like a warrior or or some better um, class of a bug. What the fuck is that? Insect is performing a grotesque experiment, putting bits of machinery into the chart. Okay, this is this is seriously fucked up. Like the overall. And I'm not even saying about obviously this is probably the most fuck up I fucked up I've seen in this game so far. Oh great, it's even freaking crying. But overall this game is like crazy. And I, I love it, but I think it was originally rated like for for teens or something. Uh, I mean children could play it back in the day. Uh, which I don't have much to say uh, one one way or the other. I think it's um, hugely dependent on the level of um, of development of a particular child, and I can see uh, a, a teenager having no problem playing this game and you know relating to all of the themes. But it's just uh, strange to think about it from today's uh, perspective and today's uh, sensibilities. Overall, it's very much crazy and. I kind of love it. Like it's very unique in in how many different environments and uh, how much how um, how different they are between each other. Like this looks like something out of a crazy sci-fi novel. And again, I, I have no idea what's what is this location's relevance to the real world. Mm, what it's supposed to represent. Because I don't think it's happening in reality. At least I really hope so that it, that it isn't. Because it's pretty crazy and horrible. What with the gi giant bugs experimenting on giant children. Because uh, you have to also note that this this kid, I mean this uh, child or newborn or whatever, uh, is like its its uh, head is the size of half of my my body. So that doesn't seem particularly normal either. An insectoid pincher. Edges are sharp. Hmm. I wonder if I can talk this with monster is also with any of the yeah right. Who are you? What is your function? To integrate cybernetic enhancements to the flesh. Who designed these robotics? Rana. I require my ID harness to be upgraded. Upon whose authorization will I grant this procedure? Um... You delay in your response. 
I am leaving. Return when you can produce the proper authorization. Hmm. I guess this whole world might be like an, the actual world of the comic book. Like Max is recreating uh, a story from his childhood and he's imagining uh, like a story he read about uh, in his childhood and he's imagining himself as a hero of a story but the whole story is fictional maybe maybe it's like a maybe it's literally a sci-fi world mm, but then again it has to say have some significance to the events uh, outside because otherwise why would it even be here I can hardly stand to look at these beasts a handsome young cyclops I hope he can help me by the makers Grimwall you're Grimwall but what are you doing here? Why have you returned to us? I thought Gromna had everything under control. Grimwall? Is that my name? I don't remember much. Just waking up in this hive and having to battle a few insectoids. I had to use this strange device that I found on the large one just to pass their security forces. It's an ID harness. Gron built them for the insectoids since they lost their sight. With that on, you look like another bug to them. That's why they're not swarming all over you. Look, my name is Gravin. We need to talk more. But until the work slows down, I'm stuck here. Afterwards, I'm going back to my pod. We can meet there. My pod's globe code is Greneser. Use it if you need to get in there for anything. Hmm. Okay, so he... He recognized me as Grimwall, which I think reinforces the fact that, like this, uh, this is a mm, like an a fictional world, a fictional story uh, inside, like the the world of the of the comic book, and the characters all belong to this comic book, so they understand, uh, they know me uh, as the hero, because I, because Grimwall himself is part of this world, but then it is Max that is imagining this and he has to have some reason for that so I am definitely curious about that I think I'm going to go away because I'm seriously creeped out by this image over here uh, especially with the baby uh, crying from time to time uh, I do have a code to like the living quarters of uh, of that guy. Not so many. Slow down. Too many in the machine below breathe. What? 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 Like, what? I don't... I don't even have the proper words in the English language to uh, properly describe how weirded out I am at the moment. Like, they are literally, like, tossing full-grown people, humans, into this vat over here. The insectoids abominable furnace. And using them as fuel of some sort. This insect is hooked up to a machine. And the like, this is must control crazy. I, I don't think I, I have ever encountered anything like that in a game. You know, something that's so, so very much out there. Uh, so... Like, and and as I said, I'm very much interested to see how it connects to the rest of the game in the end. You know, what are the parallels between this crazy sci-fi world of bugs uh, feeding on... Maybe not feeding, but uh, using humans as fossil fuel uh, and the actual world of, of reality. Uh, oh, I think they are, like, taking parts of the human out? Maybe they are... Maybe it's like a like an oven or something. Maybe they are making a meal. Because from time to time something happens over here, and this hatch uh, opens, and this guy. I want to wait for a second to see it clearly, because I wasn't concentrating my eyes on on this part of the screen before. I only knew that something has happened, but wasn't exactly sure. Hmm. 
But it seems it isn't. It either isn't repeating or it is repeating, but uh, not so uh, often. Because I've been standing here for a couple of seconds now and. They are refining fuel for their mechanized parts. I can't use that here. I. C hmm. This pipe has been fixed recently, though not too well. Yeah, he, he took some red um, item out of this. I'm not sure if it was a chunk of flesh or... I'm not sure, but anyway, it was surely crazy. The insects are pumping up bellows to control the furnace. Hmm. Maybe I could break it by... Come on, come on! Okay, that's not going to work. But I should probably keep this weak pipe in mind for later. Man, it even it even makes this sick uh, sound when you walk on this carpet of flesh. It's a little bit mushy. I love it. Like I. Like, I am kind of repulsed by it, but I also love it. It's it's very interesting. That's probably the best word to, to use. I'd better be careful on these paths. It's a long way down. Oh, and it seems not only it's like a flesh city, but it's also in the sky. A defense mechanism for Greven's part. Ah, I do have a password for that. Password. Enter. The heater. It's alive. I'm sure it is. Everything he's a here is alive. Come in handy. Graven's tool. <laughs> and I don't know I don't know why it, why it is so funny to me but um, it is funny to me that out of all of the things here you know uh, a living heater uh, people being turned into fossil fuel the bed is just a regular bed it looks like a typical bed back on earth or something that's, that's just funny to me wonder if Graven has any good crystals And now, our breaking story this evening. During a helicopter sweep in the search for another missing child in a troubled remote community of Warrendale, authorities were startled to discover what appears to be a gigantic insect hive attached to Mount Cytaria, close to the ancient mechanical ruins. Details are sketchy at this point, but some sources have estimated that the visible portion of the hive is only a small part of the greater whole. More details on this breaking story as it develops. In an attempt to halt the infestation of the insect horde that is sweeping across our nation, leading entomologist Gromna will lead a team to infiltrate and examine the ever-growing hive. When asked why he was risking his own life on this mission, Gromna simply replied that he was willing to sacrifice anything to stop the infestation. When he heard the news, President Agris said, Gromna is truly a great man, and we all wish him much success. Today, the nation breathed a collective sigh of relief as word from Gromna finally reached our closest outpost to the hive. Gone for months and presumed dead, it turns out that Gromna's team is not only alive, but they have found a method to slow the horde's infestation. Remaining near the hive, the team will continue their research in an attempt to stop the horde. Hi, Graven. I guess you're not in. You must be out helping Gromna save the world or something. I just wanted to tell you that I love you, and I miss you. And I really look forward to you coming back to me soon. Goodbye, sweetheart. Hmm. So I guess this was his wife or something. 
uh, waiting for him back home. I don't have much to comment about that. I'm just a little overwhelmed by the strangeness of this whole concept. I'm definitely digging it, but it's just pretty weird. And now, our breaking. Okay, so it just repeats. Hmm. Okay, I've, I've gathered a bunch of stuff from his home, so. Large hut. Looks like someone's living quarters. Yeah, but I don't have the password for that, right? Password. Grab. Okay, but I, but I do have the sledgehammer, so maybe if I break the... Because uh, Gravin, the guy, the, the other Cyclops, um, he said that he needs a break. Uh, so maybe if I break the furnace... If I stop the furnace, with that bug gone, I can reach the controls. I'll shut down this abominable furnace. Uh, he can have a break. Mm. I'm not sure why the rest of them. Flex than I imagined. There appear to be many controls, all interrelated. Why the rest of them aren't reacting? They're standing. understand the control scheme of this at all not to mention it almost looks like an overgrown mutated heart of some sort uh, okay so there, there are different settings with different symbols over here but hmm, is there maybe one of those symbols somewhere here in the open if it can be used against the beasts. Ugh, I can hardly stand to look at these beasts. The bellows. They are used to fan the flames of the infernal machine. back to Gravin and maybe try talking with him, uh, tell him that his wife called him or something. Maybe it'll produce some different results. Uh, to be honest, I have no idea. Oh, damn it, I didn't want to this go all the way back here. Evil. Uh, it is here that, that he works in, right? Yeah, I, I don't know how to operate the furnace, so maybe I'll find the some clues here or something. At least Look, that's what I'm, I'm too busy counting to talk on. Now. The couriers are delivering embers from the furnace at a fantastic rate. I'll meet you later at my pod when they shut the furnace down. If they shut the furnace down. Yeah, so I guess that confirms it, that I do indeed need to shut it down for him to be relieved of his duties. But unfortunately, I have no idea how to... can't go up there. I have no idea how to do that. 
because I truly... This is more complex than I imagined. There appear to be many controls, all interrelated. I truly don't understand uh, the controls here. Like, I don't understand what the, what the symbols even correspond to. There are some, li uh, some lights here. There is this strange... What? Ah, okay. But, I mean, I still don't get it, but at least th that makes something, because I can make different symbols with the... Uh, with the mm, fly's wings. Not sure how that helps me. Okay, this is awfully complicated to be honest. And even besides the point, I'm not even sure what I'm supposed to do, like which one of them to use as a setting. Mm. I can change colors, I can change... I don't know what this does. Hmm. Yeah, I can make different symbols here, but I'm not even sure which one to choose, and there is some kind of gauge, uh, like a power level or something, over here. Hmm. But I am awfully confused by all that, and I don't see any of those symbols here out in the open. So they're, they're dropping Cyclopean babies into the furnace. Oh, so they are not human, but that does that doesn't make it better. Like obviously the Cyclops in this universe. Are a, are a fully um, sentient race, so and they they almost look human anyway, well, apart from the bottom half. Uh, so, so that doesn't make it better at all, um, and it also doesn't really help me. Hmm. Uh, this pipe has been fixed recently, though not too well. Hmm, I'm not sure. Why are they back to work? No, that would have it would be enjoyed. That I can't hit. It's weird. Last time I was here, I destroyed the pipe and there was like flames all over and those two workers stopped working at the furnace, but now uh, they are back to work and despite that, I can still use the controls and they are not um, responding to that, they are not protesting it, so that's a little bit weird. I'll just go around and see, maybe I'll find something else, but I don't think there's anything else to do mm. in this part. I, get, I don't think I can get inside this house. Oh, I guess there is something Strange. to do here. They seem to mark an entrance to nowhere. I could barely see the ground through all the clouds. A great machine of some sort. Its size alone speaks of untold power. Hmm. Okay, so maybe A I'll find some clues. Oh, uh, about how to shut down the furnace here. I would I very much appreciate some clues because I'm more than a little bit lost the furnace operator's mechanical limb Revan's to an insectoid mm. okay I'm not sure what to do with this I maybe there's the something else all the clouds. I don't have the password for this. Mm, this 
this is uh, Gavin's house, but I don't think I can do anything here. And now, yeah, this this uh, this just repeats, and this is the end of the platform anyway. Lord. There's the furnace. Mm. Yeah, I don't have authorization for an upgrade. I require um. Yeah, I do need to shut down that furnace, I do understand that, but I I have no idea how to do that. I literally don't understand uh, the control scheme of of, the, of that control panel. Let's set it to this, for example, and see if I can find the magic matching uh, images or something. Okay, I think this matches to this, right? And then. This doesn't quite match to this, but I think I can modif modify that by... Yeah, okay, this matches to this now, but I'm still not sure... What's the purpose of that? Okay, I did something, and uh, the gouge he's here has changed, so I guess I'll continue trying to find hmm, but those are all the same, I think each time. So... I'm not really sure... Okay, let's try this, because I think... Okay, this would be okay, and this is matching as well. But the colors... Ah, okay, I can't really interact with the colors, because the colors depend on the symbols themselves, so... Okay, this is matching to this, so let's click... idea what I'm doing to be honest. Which sadly has been uh, a theme for some time now. Mm. Okay, but I'm not sure oh damn it, I hope it doesn't reset. Mm. I'm not sure uh, if I'm supposed to... Because it's weird that they are green. You would think shutting something down would mm, like logically be symbolized by a red light, but then again this is slowly turning red from green, so that might be an indicator of progress in that regard. Mm. Anyway, I think I can make this. Mm. So, do 
manipulate this and this. Mm. Okay, so this is good. I need a triangle on top like this and then I think this is correct yeah and it seems to be like slowly closing over here so maybe this um, symbolizes the furnace or like the entrance to the furnace I think I'm doing something right but not quite sure about that I guess I'll learn soon enough. Mm. Okay, now I guess I need something like this. And then like this. Yeah, I think I'm doing it right. At least I sure hope so. Hmm. Okay, so I need the top with the triangle. Hmm. No, I, I don't think this is it. This must be a different symbol. Mm. Okay, I'm kind of confused by this one. Okay, so this matches, the, the, the lower one, matches to this, I think, but I'm not sure... Oh, I guess this is it? No more genocide today, monsters. No more embers will be delivered now. I'm certain our fine gravity resting in this pod. Okay, that was pretty weird like overall this whole location is weird but the, the controls for the furnace were, were pretty weird as well there you are I was beginning to get worried I thought something terrible might happen to you at the furnace especially since your memory is gone no I don't remember much of anything I wouldn't even know my own name if you hadn't told me Every Cyclopean child knows the name of Grimwall. You're the great hero of the War of the One. War of the One? Can you tell me about it? Oh my. You are confused, aren't you? <clears throat> the War of the One was a pivotal point in the history of our people. For years, we had fought the insectoids. Neither side gaining ground as the planet was ravaged by countless battles. The Makers... Creators of all and of nothing watched silently for many years before taking action. They spoke to the leaders of both sides through grand visions, declaring that there was to be one final battle for supremacy. The victor would rule the planet, and the defeated race would be forced underground, never to return to the surface again. We won? Yes, thanks to you. You destroyed nearly a third of the troops, all by yourself. Hmm, so if we won, then why are the insects still, like, feeding the Cyclopean babies if to the furnace or whatever? Why are these yeah, right. back above ground? No one really knows. Actually, no one really believed the story of the War of the One, or thought that there were any insectoids. 
until now. Wait, that's that makes no sense. How could nobody believe that it really happened if I, as in Grimwall, was uh, was was the one that made it happen in the first place, and he was still around? Like, surely. If it was a falsification, it would, would be easy to call to to catch him in a lie. And if it really did happen, then surely it would be easy to determine that by asking him about a copious amount of details and see if he hesitates or something. So that's that that's weird. Your machine will be silent for a while. Evil. It's just a furnace, isn't it? The thing was burning children, Graven. Cyclopean children! What? But how can this be? Romna would never allow such a thing to happen. Romna? That's the name the bugs were using at the furnace. They said he's giving the orders to burn the children's bodies. That's absurd. He's my mentor. A brilliant entomologist. He'd never... Ento... what? Entomologist. He's our foremost specialist on insects. That's why the Peace Council chose him for this mission. Hmm. So maybe he betrayed them and took over the bugs using his knowledge of them to gain control mission. of them. What mission? What the hell is going on here? We were sent here to examine this hive a few months ago. We were captured. But Gromna convinced the Queen to put aside her plans of conquest and negotiate a peace treaty. Since then, it's been peaceful for both sides. In fact, tomorrow is the date that both leaders will meet to sign the treaty. Yeah, that doesn't sound... Uh, this whole situation doesn't look particularly peaceful to me. If anything, it looks like a crazy madhouse of slaughter and horror or whatever. Something is terribly wrong here, and I think that this Gromna person is somehow involved. You must help me. I'm sorry, but I can't. Not unless you have some physical proof to back up these wild accusations. Very well. If proof is what you want, then that's what you'll get. Graven, Chick-Tock requires authorization to upgrade my ID harness. Who can do that? Normally. Gromna is the only one who can authorize such upgrades. But with the increased activity in the Queen's chambers, he remains there almost exclusively. I think we can fool Chick Talk if I make my position sound important enough. What should I say? Tell him that your authorization comes from Graven, protege of Gromna, honorable assistant to Her Majesty. That should do it. Take my advice. That harness you're wearing won't get you past every security device. You might want to see the cyber technician for an upgrade. Yeah, that's that's exactly what I was talking with you about a second ago. But I guess the game just wanted to make sure I realized that even if I didn't choose the particular uh, dialogue option. Oh damn it! I didn't want to go so far back. I somehow always miss the entrance to this room over here. I require my ID harness to be upgraded. Upon whose affirmation will I grant this procedure? Graven, protege of Gromna, honorable assistant to Her Majesty. Graven, for while I search my database for confirmation, my records indicate that Graven is the assistant to Gromna. However, his authorization alone is not enough. I will need to verify that you are of sufficient age to be placed within the Royal Guard. Proceed to Link Scanner for positive age identification. Hmm. Looks so like where is the scanner? Table. Some kind of scanning I... unit. Ah, oh, okay. And I think I need Sacroid to place picture. the limb uh, 
into it because if they scan my own body, clearly they will see or detect that I am not even an insect, right? Although I'll just do it for the lulls to see what happens anyway. Ah, okay. Okay, yeah, yeah so that's, that's what I thought. No, no, no. Okay, that's definitely a surprise for me. Ah, I guess this fits better. Treatment? What treatment? A treatment. They found a way to slow down the disease. It says here that a Dr. Morgan was ultimately responsible for developing the DNA V treatment. Didn't you study with the Dr. Morgan back in med school? I was still a sophomore when he earned his doctorate. Well, the treatment's called HOPE. It's supposed to decelerate the growth of the DNA V almost doubling the lifespan of affected children. The Aztecs found a way to survive the plague of Quetzalcoatl without conventional modern medicine. <sighs> well, hey, if Morgan is close to a cure, a true cure, then maybe he can use another set of hands. Maybe it's time to pack up here and go home. Ah, there's a fire in my brain! Hmm. Okay, I'm really not sure why he name drops name dropped Aztecs all of the sudden. Like, it has been hours since the last time I've heard about Aztecs in this game. There was a bit in the first area, something about an Aztec ruin, or like an and there was an Aztec key that activated the statue. Uh, but I suppose it's going to be relevant later because why would they even mention it again? Um, Besides that, it seems that the protagonist, Max, was on some kind of a retreat with, with his uh, wife and when he heard that uh, Morgan is trying to get a cure for the disease and I guess that's when he decided to go back to his work as a doctor. But that's enough for this episode, so I'm going to save. It has been pretty crazy. Mm. But also pretty enjoyable, like, uh, to game. it's very much insane to me what's happening in this game currently, but it's a very enjoyable kind of insanity. I'm definitely interested in this game and I'm having a lot of fun, even though uh, sometimes I'm a little bit frustrated when I get stuck, but so far the story and the atmosphere, especially the atmosphere, uh, has kept me going and I'm very interested to see how the story develops and eventually concludes. But for now that's all. And that's all for this one. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.